And I'm going to show you some big phones. Oh, Are you ready? New hotness. It is the year of the phablet. There's no doubt about it. It all started uh, a couple of years ago when Samsung released the Galaxy Note which was the first phablet. The first Galaxy Note was, I'm thinking, five inches. Uh, At the time, that seemed yeah, really big. Seemed huge. People would say, what is that thing? And it, you'd say, well, it's my Galaxy Note. Uh, one of the things that distinguished the Note, of course, was the stylus, but the big screen was what really attracted the eye. They've since gone Note 2, 3, and now the Note 4. This is 5.7 inches. In fact, I think you can credit the Galaxy Note with Apple's iPhone 6 Plus, which is a five and a half inch screen. People, uh, Apple realized people want big screens. Well, there is a phablet to beat all phablets, and it's no. just come out, and it's from Google, and we're talking about right here. This is the Nexus 6. This is the newest Nexus release. One of the reasons people love Nexus phones, of course, is because Google uh, makes a point of keeping it pure Android. This is the first phone to come out with the latest version of Android, 5.0 Lollipop. So it's a great phone if you want to look at Lollipop. Uh, and it takes advantage of it in some interesting ways. 5.96 inch screen. It's really a top of the line device. It has uh, uh, Snapdragon uh, 805 processors, uh, quad core, 2.7 gigahertz, three gigs of RAM. And the screen is another one of those uh, 2K screens. It's 2560 by 1440. That looks gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a beautiful screen. And, and, it, and I think it competes well against the iPhone 6 Plus and uh, the Note 4, all three of which have uh, high-res screens, not quite as high-res on the iPhone. I think there's one one thing that I have a little bit of an issue with is they get these great big phones, they put great big batteries in them, more than 3,000 milliamp hours, but then they also put high-res screens that drain the battery faster. Uh, you know, we've noticed this with all of the, um, the, the QHD displays, they just don't get the battery life that's something like you use the OnePlus One, that's a 1080p display, it gets great battery life, iPhone does an amazing job with its five and a half inch display, also 1080p, great battery life. This is more like, uh, well, I, actually, I can I can tell you because it's been on all day. Oh, somebody charged it, darn it! Oh. But I'm getting about 12 hours of battery life, maybe a little bit more. That's disappointing. People had hoped that Lollipop would give you better battery life and uh, doing things like coalescing wake locks, uh, something uh, Apple does very well in iOS. Um, Maybe it's doing that, but I sure don't uh, feel a big difference in the battery life. However, you do get, now, I'm being really a little unfair to it because I don't run the uh, Google Launcher. So let me let me put the home, and by the way, there's the beautiful new uh, material look. You can see it on the settings. I like Lollipop, uh, and this is a great uh, implementation of Lollipop. Let me go back to the Google Now Launcher because you'll see uh, a little bit more of Lollipop in the launcher, the way the, the screens look and all of that stuff. And, of course, you've got Google Now there. So the Nexus 6, pure Android 5.0, high-end flagship phone at a high-end price. There are two models. Uh, there's a 32 gigabyte for 650 bucks, and for 700 bucks you can get 64 gigabytes. Comes in two colors. This is the midnight blue, which is really almost black. It's it's bluish black, and they have a silvery white uh, one. It's hard to get. In fact, I got on the store and ordered it as soon as I could. Uh, and I wasn't able to get it. Now, the, you know, this is the Pure Edition from the Google Store. Moto Maker also sells a Pure Edition. Or you can go to your carrier, and but then you'll get the, uh, for instance, the AT&T Death Star logo on here and some of the <laughs> AT&T software as well. It's up to you. I think people who buy Nexus phones generally don't want that extra carrier cruft. So let's take a little bit of a look at the pros and cons. I, I should say before I go much farther that really the reason I brought the Note 4, the iPhone 6 Plus and this phone is those are probably if you're looking for a big phone your three most prominent choices and when I compare the Nexus 6 to the Note 4 I feel like the, 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 the Nexus 6 is kind of the iPhone of Android phones. Does that make any sense? Elegant. It's, it's elegant, it's elegant. simple, it's uh, very clean in its look they've got front, one of the things I love they have front-facing speakers which means the sound. In fact, let me play a little music. You want to hear a little music? Yes, I'll play please. a little music for you. The sound is uh, is is good. Um, it, they get loud. I'm not sure the bass is fantastic, but you wouldn't really expect that, uh, frankly, on a on a, a little phone. Um, it's great though if you're listening to podcasts or uh, audiobooks because the the voice sound is uh, is really great. I'm in a little trouble uh, getting the Wi-Fi. Here we go. I'll play a a song here from Brian Eno and David Byrne called Very, Very Hungry. Let me turn it up and you can hear what it sounds like. It's not bad. It's I mean, actually not bad. You can hear some of the bass in there. Yeah. Uh, it's very listenable. It gets pretty loud. This is all the way up. 
Uh, I like the idea of left and right front-facing speakers, but just like the HTC One, which does the same thing, that means that the phone is going to have ears. It's going to be a little yeah. bit bigger at the top and the bottom, and uh, that is maybe a negative. It, uh, it, uh, it has a beautiful screen, but not quite as beautiful as a Note 4. The Note 4, to me, is the windows of Android phones. It's a little clunky, a little awkward, but a little more powerful. It's and all business. It's all business. This is kind of looks, and, and, it's, and it is a very elegant phone. I think they've done a very nice job. Pros and cons, state-of-the-art phone, great QHD display. Uh, it is pure Android, but on the con side, yeah, you may say, well, my Motorola makes this. Am I going to get the features of the Moto X? And you do not. It doesn't have active display. You can't shake it to turn on the camera. It doesn't know uh, when you're sleeping. It doesn't know when you're in a meeting. You can't add third-party software to do that. But frankly, I was hoping that this would be a Moto X with a giant screen and a giant battery. It isn't. It isn't. It really is much more like the Nexus 5 with a 5.9-inch uh, screen. That's kind of... So that's a negative to me is it doesn't have those Moto features. Uh, also a negative, the battery life, a little bit less than desirable. It's better than the Moto X. Um, it's, uh, it's, you know, between 12 and 16 hours. It does support quick charging, which means you can get it back up pretty quickly. Within half an hour, you can get 50% charge. So if you do run down, as long as you've had access to a charger, you can fill it up. Of course, no removable battery, no SD card. The back does not come off easily. iFixit did give it a high repair score. They said once you do get the back off, which is not easy, you got to spudge it off, uh, you can at least repair the stuff inside. So that's a, that's a pro as well. And uh, maybe a con a little bit. We expect Nexus phones to be inexpensive. It's yeah. not. It's it's pretty much the same price as any of these other uh, flagship phones. That's the phones. premium price. Yeah, it's the premium price, six fifty to seven hundred dollars, uh, unsubsidized. The good news is it's available from all the carriers, so you will be able to get a carrier subsidy on this. Buy, try, don't buy. Well, I think it's a. You know, I probably should say try in the sense that you should try this, but you should also try the Note Four. You should try the iPhone. Uh, 6 Plus, because all three of these giant size phones, and, and I would include maybe the uh, Sony Xperia Z3, the LG G3, these big phones, if you like big phones, uh, each has its pros and cons, um, but they've done a very nice job. I love Lollipop. I guess we're going to get Lollipop on more phones soon. I hope so. I didn't mention the camera. It's a 13 megapixel OIS built in, dual nice. flash. Good, I think a very good camera, probably better than the Moto X. Um, not better than the Note 4 or the uh, iPhone 6 Plus. It's, uh, it's a decent camera. But, it, but it's definitely, a, a, I should say try, but I'm going to say buy because I, wanna, I don't want you to think it's not a great phone. It is a great phone. It's a qualified buy. It's a qualified buy in the sense that there are other choices out there, and it's really a personal decision you have to make. You have to look at all the choices and, uh, and see which one suits you. You might want a kind of a, a more Windowsy, more utilitarian, businessy kind of phone. But this sure is elegant. And, you know, I don't feel like, do you feel like it's too big? We're both uh, no, big guys. No, but I love big phones. I like big phones, And I too. use the, the OnePlus One, and that's right. a big phone. And yep. this feels, actually, that feels really nice. Yeah. Well, and I have to say, that's another uh, con, is that it doesn't have the Moto Maker features. Uh, you can't get the leather back. Oh, you okay. can't get the wood back. You can't really customize it in any way. On the other hand, it feels good. It does. It's got the curved back. It's got the Motorola dimple in the back. So for such a big phone, you're not going to operate it one-handed, but I think it feels pretty good in the uh, in the palm of the hand. So I like this phone. I think it's a great phone. It may very well be my daily driver. It's between, right now, for me, it's between this and the Note 4, and I just haven't decided if I'm willing to give up that pure Android experience. Lollipop's pretty sweet, as it ought to be, as all Android devices are. Anyway, there you go. A buy for the Nexus 6, but a qualified buy.